Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this peachy makeup look. This is actually a look inspired by Makeup by Ariel on Instagram. He's an amazing makeup artist. His makeup looks are so simple and striking at the same time. I don't know how to explain it, but all his looks are so beautiful. I just love looking at his makeup looks. He actually did this peachy monochromatic makeup look on Kylie Jenner, and when I saw the photo on his page, I was like, ah. I wanted to have that makeup look on my face. So I thought I'd recreate it for you guys. It's super simple. He doesn't use a lot of products. I didn't use exactly what he used. I just used what I had, mixed some stuff together, and got this makeup look. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. First, I'm gonna prep my skin. I'm using the Epicet International uh, Restorative Toner. It's gonna reduce inflammation, refresh, and hydrate your skin. And toner always really helps if you have any blemishes as well. Next, I'm just gonna moisturize by using the Naked Cosmetics Advanced Aloe cream. This is a good non-greasy anti-aging lotion. Don't forget your neck. <laughs> Since we're doing a Kylie look, I'm gonna go ahead and try this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Clear Gloss that is supposed to have like lip plumping technology. And I'm just gonna put this on while I'm doing my makeup just to get the plumping going. So by the time I'm ready to apply my lip color, hopefully they just magically look like, you know, Moving on to eyes, let's go in with the Benefit Air Patrol as our eyeshadow base. I'm just taking that on a black concealer brush, pack that all over the lid, and then blend it up towards the brow bone. I like to tap with my finger afterwards just to make sure it's all nice and smooth. Go ahead and set that like usual with Blanc by Anastasia Beverly Hills. First, I like to put all the product on the brow bone because that's where you want the most highlight. I sound like a broken record sometimes, but I feel like I need to give you guys this tip in every video. It's just necessary. Boom. That lip injection thing is uh, definitely doing something. Don't worry too much about putting this on the lid, just mostly on the crease and the brow bone. Boom. This color basically blends into the backdrop. It's Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie, and this is gonna be our transition shade. So I'm taking that on a Smith 235 brush, just putting that into the crease and a little bit above the crease. So the transition color just kind of gets the ball rolling around here. Just helps you map out your shape. You get all your mistakes out of the way with the lightest shade. That way when you go with the darker ones, you're like, okay, I got this. For Kylie's makeup, she used Citrin from her eyeshadow palette. Supposedly, that's all that's on her eyes. But I'm gonna go ahead and use L'Orange Highlighter, and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And with a Smith 247 brush, this is kind of gonna be sort of like a wash of color. So I'm focusing it mostly onto the crease, but then kind of bringing it down to the lid as well. What I like about Ariel's makeup looks is that they're so subtle, but so like stunning. It's crazy, like I don't know how he does it every time. Every time makes everyone look so good with such simple makeup looks. To define the lash line, I'm gonna smoke it out just a little bit with this dark chocolate brown. This is Fudge by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Picking that up on a Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. Basically just wanna tap that or press it into the lash line. Just to add a little definition to those lashes. It also helps give your eye a little more definition. As I'm out here, I keep the shadow kind of thick and then taper it thinner and thinner as I get into the inner corner to kind of give us that like, if you do it this thick all the way around, it'll give your eye a more round appearance. And then after you tap it in, just kind of blend the edges into the peach color so it softens it up even more. So once we apply our lashes over this, it won't even really show that much. Just kind of define and hide the lash band a little bit. And then I'm taking the brush that I use with the peach and kind of just going right over it to soften it and blend it all out. So I don't want it to be anything too harsh. Moving on to the face, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Foundation and this is in the shade 3.5. Give myself a nice little tan. My face is pale and I'm gonna go hard and I'm gonna go hard. For my concealer, I'll be using the NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger. Do, do. Just gonna apply a little bit of concealer. Actually, I'm just gonna blend this out before I go on to the other side. Kind of 
just pop that around the cheekbone. Make that cheekbone pop a little bit. Cover the shadows on the side of the nose with the concealer as well to slim it out. I don't really want this to be super sharp, so I'm going back over it with a blending brush and just kind of smoking this out. No product on the brush, just making sure it's not like a sharp line. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set my under eyes, and this is the Sigma Tapered Highlight Brush. I'm a little weary to put a lot of powder because of the allergic reaction that I got going on this week. My under eyes look scary. I'm gonna bake the nose contour, if you will. Taper that shit one time. While that's baking, let's go ahead and contour the nose. Shall we? So I'm gonna take this contour kit by HD Ready and it is in collaboration with Makeup by Yvonne. And I'm gonna take this cool toned color here and I'm gonna try to contour my nose. And I say try because I'm trying to use I Love Sedai's methods right now. She just started a YouTube channel. You guys should go check her out. She's one of my friends. If you don't know who she is, you should check out her Instagram. She did a nose contour video the other day and I was like paying very close attention. I'm not doing exactly what she did, but I'm trying. This is a really good nose contour color, actually. <laughs> it's my first time trying it. Well, you wanna make sure to use grayish tones, not gray, but not warm tone to contour the nose. This is actually the perfect color from what I see now. I haven't really photographed with it. Hopefully it looks good in outdoor lighting. That's the true test. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dust this powder off. Now I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals Bare Pro powder foundation, and this is in the shade Camel Toe. Just kidding, <laughs> I'm so dumb. And my Morphe E3 brush, and I'm just gonna kind of press that into the face, get that full coverage look. And I'm also gonna kind of pat it over my nose so that it blends my nose contour with my face. All right, time for some MAC Give Me Sun. I'm gonna be using my MAC 135 to apply that. You wanna get that nice, sunny, glow, that warm tone glow. That's why I like this. Give me sun for this. Ugh, I'm ruining all my baby hair slage that I had going on. I try to lay my edges like Shayla taught me. So the reason I like to use this big fluffy brush because it just evenly gives your face an all over sunny look and that's what we want. Nothing too precise. Her whole look is very soft. Yep, that's, what, that's the glow I'm looking for. To give my face a natural glow, I'm gonna use the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mineral Blush, and this is in Autumn Glow. I'm using a MAC 137. This is a nice, light, fluffy brush so that it doesn't apply too much product. Kind of putting it over the nose, too, to add that glow, that peachiness, like right around here. And the actual blush she used for the look was Peachy Keen by MAC Cosmetics. If you guys can't tell, this is one of my favorite blushes. And I'm gonna continue with this brush just cause I don't want to go too crazy with the blush application. For my highlight, I'll be using the Champagne Pop Shade with Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics. Put that right there, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, bitch. I'm also gonna put the highlight on the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. Going back into the L'Orange color with my favorite under eye brush. This is the Joseph Colors pencil brush. And we're just gonna smoke it out right underneath. I'm actually gonna mix that to tone it down a little bit with Peach Smoothie. Yeah, that's perfect. Tones it down just a little bit. And then you wanna just connect the top with the bottom. In the Ipsy Glam Bag this month, I actually got Superhero It Cosmetics Mascara. It's supposed to be a super black formula, so I'm gonna use this to coat my lashes before applying my falsies. All right, and then for lashes, I'm gonna be using the Demi Wispies, and these are ones that I customize with individual lashes. If you guys wanna see a video on that, I will link it in the description box. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply these. Make sure you come up from above. We want them to like really be Perky. I know that in this photo she had like individual lashes or um, lash extensions, I believe. So customizing with individuals will give you that effect. Although hers were like a little bit more um, PC. These are actually from MAC. A lot of brands make them, but they're especially for eyelashes. So you can apply them and then you press them down with your natural lashes so that they look more natural. So now that we have our lashes on, I'm gonna do bottom lashes. If you have naturally long eyelashes, then go for that mascara. I don't, so I really still wanna have that lashy look. But I'm gonna be using House of Lashes 
Precious Lashes. They are a strip lash, but what I've been doing recently and I find it's easier for me to apply is actually cutting each little section individually. So then it looks like this a bunch of little lashes and I apply them separately. I just have more control of the lash that way. It's just easier for me and I like to be able to kind of change the way they look. I just put a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put it in the inner corner. It's just a lot easier to do it this way for some reason, for me at least. It feels more comfortable. There's not like a little lash strip at the bottom of my eye, which sometimes bothers me, so it's nice. You just kind of put them wherever you want. You have more control and more say so on what you want to do. What else I like about this technique is that when you wear lower lashes, sometimes I find mine like pops off no matter how much glue I put on. But when you do it like this, if one pops off is fine because the rest of them are still going to be there. Whereas when they're a strip, it's like once it pops off, you're just looking crazy. There, now you have some lower lashes. And then once these dry, you can go back in with mascara and try to build up your lashes in those little gaps, or you could leave it like this. I kind of like that PC look, whatever floats your boat. All right, I decided that I wanted to smoke out the lower lash line just a little bit, just blend out the edges. So I'll be using Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics Single Eyeshadow in Teaser. Just a nice pigmented creamy shadow. So I'm just putting it like right below where we have the peachy shade. So it's a little bit softer, yes. I need to check to see if she had an inner corner highlight. I'm not sure. I need to I need to check these, check the receipts real quick. Hold please. It looks like she has an inner corner highlight, but it doesn't look like it's sparkly. So I'm just gonna use a blanc type again. Just kind of put that in the inner corners, brighten it up there. All right, so for the lips, I already kind of tested a little patch, but I'm mixing London by NYX and Ofra's Rio to get that like dirty peachy color because I don't have that color right now. So and I just mixed it on the back of my, my his hand right here. I mean, it's not gonna be exact, but try your best to mix whatever you have at home to get the color. All right, so this is the lip mix with those two shades. It's not exactly like dirty peach, but you know, overall what you're trying to get to is like a monochromatic peachy look. So anything you have at home that you can make work, make it work and it's good. You're golden, peachin', peachy, peachy keen. All right guys, so that's it for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I'm watching you. I see you. Also, I wanted to ask you guys if you had any Halloween ideas. I'm kind of reaching out to you. Give me a great idea. I have like one solid idea, but I need other ones. You guys have anything that you want to see me do? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. What just got all over my hand? Oh man. Yes. Why would you ever cut out my brows? Mm. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <sighs> yada yada yada. La da 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 da. Ow, it's so tight. My head is so tight. Ugh, I feel like my eyes are where my temples are supposed to be. I should probably clean this brush. It looks a little dirty.